Sunday night, the moon enters Earth's shadow, growing thousands of times dimmer during a total lunar eclipse. Tonight, Rachel Krauss <laughs> takes us to Holcomb Observatory on Butler's campus for some fun facts about this incredible sight. This is one of those events you don't need a telescope. You can just use your own two eyes, look up. In just a few days, the moon will move fully into the Earth's shadow during a total lunar eclipse, and you can watch it from your house. You can see the movement of the cosmos. That is the moon moving into the shadow of the Earth. You can even see that that shadow is curved, proving the Earth is a sphere. Holcomb Observatory and Planetarium Director Brian Murphy says lunar eclipses have been significant for thousands of years. Studying them allowed the ancient Greeks to determine the Earth and Moon's size. When this lunar eclipse happens, Murphy says the Moon will enter the darkest part of the Earth's shadow until it hits totality. The moon becoming 10,000 times dimmer, turning a coppery red. Because on the moon, it is actually, you're seeing the nighttime side of the Earth. And around the limb of the Earth, you see all the sunrises and sunsets if you were standing on the moon. So the moon is illuminated by all those sunrises and sunsets on the Earth, hence its reddish coppery color. Sunday's lunar eclipse will have many Hoosiers looking up at the sky. It's the first of a number of eclipses that will pass over the state of Indiana over the next few years, leading up to the total solar eclipse in April 2024. That major event is something the folks at the Holcomb Observatory are already preparing for. With the big one, Indianapolis is first total solar eclipse in 819 years. With the total solar eclipse in 2024, the sun will disappear for those in the path of totality, illuminating the sun's corona. And Indianapolis is poised for a perfect view. Over the next two years, Holcomb Observatory will be hosting events and shows to get Hoosiers ready for this awe-inspiring event. Particularly the six months before it, that's when it's nothing going to be eclipse coverage all the time here at the observatory to prep people for it, to know what to do, to know what to look for during the total solar eclipse. But with two years to wait, Murphy says this weekend's lunar eclipse will give astronomy fans a chance to get outside and excited about what's happening in the sky. They are all inspiring. Seeing that deep red color of the moon is quite a sight.